What's up, Atlanta? I just came back from an event hosted by Georgia Foodies and Aramon Cafe for their grand opening. Congratulations. I got some oxtails to try. Let's dig into it. I actually couldn't stay for the whole event, um, but they were kind enough to give me some food to go. I'll share some event highlights after this. Let's dig into their oxtail. It smells very good. Looks very seasoned and juicy. Mmm. The meat's very tender. Mmm. It's actually really good. The seasoning is a little sweet, not too salty. It's very flavorful. Meat on the oxtail texture is great. It's really soft. Falls off the bone. Love how it's a little fatty as well. It's actually really good. This was for their grand opening, Norcross location. There are three other locations and this is the fourth and newest location. This is now sort of a local chain. Now let's try the rice and peas. Never really understood why it's called rice and peas with no peas in it. I just Googled it and it's because it's originally made with pigeon peas. So some people make it with the kidney beans, which is what we have here. Mm. Not pretty standard. I like the quality of the rice. I think the white rice quality is pretty good. It's a nice side to go with the oxtail. Next, let's try the cabbage. Looks like the stir fry cabbage. Mm. Wow, it's actually really flavorful. I think it might, it might be cooked in some kind of broth. Um, it really has a lot of flavor. Nicely seasoned. Texture is slightly crunchy, but soft, like how you expect cabbage to be. Mm. Overall, I think this is pretty good. I do want to go back and try their rasta pasta or their jerk pasta. Let me know if you're interested to see that. I will make another video. Now I'm going to go off camera to eat more of these oxtails. Congrats again on your grand opening and thanks for having me. Good, 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 just me all right. I know your body, squeeze me with a hug.